Hey everybody, it's me, Pam Dragon Moon Creations. Welcome back to my channel. I realize I have not been on here in a while. Um, and I was talking to my friend Libby yesterday and she noticed I hadn't been on here too. <laughs> so I'm going to show you some things that I bought. I've been a bad girl, but I did uh, earn a little extra money doing something. So I said, I'm going to spend it on me. Me, me, it's all about me. I had pre-ordered from uh, Only One Life Creations some of the Tim Holtz stuff. The large collage strips, the Christmas 2024. I There's 24 pieces, so there's 12, like 12 each side, but... Like I said, for the Halloween ones, you can cut them apart, which I've yet to do on the others. But I always, I want to make sure if I'm ever in a position where I really, really, really can't afford anything, that I have stuff. Okay. And then the layers and paper dolls, the Christmas 2024. And then the ephemera pack, Christmas 2024 also. I think I have these from last year, but I went ahead and got them anyway. Okay. I went to Michael's, and I didn't get very much at Michael's. Got a couple of paper pads. I did go ahead and get the 6x6 in the Sprinkle Shop, which you know, everybody has seen this. And I do like some of the papers, and I try to, sometimes I work with brighter colors to offset the yeah, the winter blues. But then I got something dark and and uh, brooding, which was the holiday pines. But it was so pretty. Some of it's just so pretty. The colors are so pretty. Let me see. Yeah. Anyway, the pine, wispy looking pine. So pretty. Throwaway page. Nice book. But throw away page. <laughs> and it's got some cut aparts for tags. And then, hey, you could just cut the tag part off and just use them as a sentiment, you know, because look at there. Enough room to cut that off. Use those as sentiments. Same down here and same there, which is probably what I'll do. Too big, but it might make a pretty background page. Uh, and look, pine cones and pine twigs like things. And this is neat. It's the fall stuff. I can't get ah, shadow that. But it's on a, like a black. It's not black. It's it's really really dark. But it's not quite black. It's like a charcoal. So, so it really is pretty. And I think this one's totally underrated. This you couldn't. You might be able to use for something. But you know you can always use the rest of the paper for cards. This just looks like wheat. This is pretty also. You could just cut it and make it a background, a layering piece for cards. And this looks like something woven. Wood. Dear, 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 dear. Yeah, kind of overcast today. Did my civic duty and went out and voted today. Can't complain if you don't participate. Now this is an interesting pattern because the browns are lighter. And I noticed that on... I mean, the greens are dark, but the browns are lighter. And I noticed it back here, too. See? This one... Yeah, see. Like that. It's not real, real dark brown. Some browns can just literally look poopy, you know? That's pretty, and this is again, this could be cut for the background for a card, and then the rest used as layering. I got the big one because I'd already gotten the you know a small one, so I got a big one. Shouldn't probably shouldn't have, but then there's just gold with that dark charcoal background on it, it's pretty. And there, there's a card front right there. Just layer it with some um, some 
green cardstock because it's like a um, a pine green back there. Yeah, and that's a card front. I like this because again, it looks like ticking. And I think I was talking about ticking. And I said something about it being like the weight of a feed sack. No, ticking is not the weight of a feed sack. Ticking was more like the weight of broadcloth. You know, it was heavier weight. But they did some, um, back in the day, they did make some flower sacks that looked like ticking. Now, anybody know why they started making decorative flower sacks? Because back whenever, in the Depression, when everybody was poor, the flower companies literally found out that that ladies were making children's clothing out of their flower sacks, and they were just like a, you know, just like a off-white, unbleached muslin type thing. And so they started getting, ordering the flower sacks with print on them. And I thought that was the best thing ever. I had ever heard that story. This is really, really pretty. The muted greens. And the holly berries are red. You can see that. So there's a little pop of color there. And then that muted brown color. And then, of course, then we're back to this green and gold. We know, do they know that people either flip from the front first or a lot of, like me, I'll flip from the back. And if you notice, when we're doing flip throughs, we start at the back. They should put the, some pretty papers front and back. All right. Um, then I went over to Hobby Lobby. And they had Christmas 50% off. I got this two pack of ribbon, $3.99, 50% off, made it what? $1.99? And it had the, it's kind of like a burlap material in the red and the green, and then it has like a gold thread going through it. So I got that one. And then this one just has that, um, it's burlap like looking material, and it has pine looking stuff with berries. And I thought, that would go really good with that holly pine I just got. Alrighty. Oh, something else I got at uh, Michael's was... I forgot. It was this. It was in Party. And Party was either 40 or 50% off. And um, I didn't pay $5 for it. Where's, I think I thought I kept my... Okay, let me see Michael's. It, they call it Confetti. It ended up being two dollars and fifty-four cents, and um, that's where because I don't know. I think I told you the story of my sister gave me her military discount once, and they put it on my account, and now I can't get them to take it off, or, or they're not inclined to take it off after I told them. But anyway, I thought these were really cute. They're like little bursts of gold red and green, and I thought that would be pretty in the background of a card. I haven't opened them yet. They don't want them to be open. They're, they're like that stuff that comes on uh, pillows when, or tags for clothing. Hang on. Let me see. I get it. I get it. Probably need to just put them in a little container. I got containers. I have, not I got. Tell you what, I'm turning more hickey and country every day. All right, but see, look at that. Look at that. The gold. Gold, and then there's a green, and the red, just little bursts of color. That's, I think it's very Christmassy, even if it's like uh, 1960s atomic Christmas. And then the thing of it is, they come in different sizes. I didn't want to dump them all out, but you can see they come a little bit smaller right there. And I think that one's even smaller. And then there's these. So yeah, I have a little heck nothing else you could maybe stick it on the uh, outside of an envelope just run it through a xyron and make a sticker out of it okay so i got that anyway. uh, okay, hang on. all right and then i got that hobby lobby continuing the hobby lobby i cruised my little christmas and i got these christmas was 50 percent off these are ornaments, but I thought you could use them as snowflakes on a card. They even have the little hangy strings. Okay. And I saw these again. And I said, oh, sure. I think it was 99 cents. Sure. 
I got I bought one before and I got another one and then these were just in the sticker aisle but they still said the paper studio which meant they were 40% off and they're really thick I'm not really sure let's let's just see shall we these are from 2023 it says but let's just see hmm. come on out don't be shy we're all friends here okay are they really thick yeah they're foamy they're foamy on the back they're like foam yeah look so yeah foam stickies I don't even know what they call them. But anyway, see, what do they call these? Dimensional stickers, 26 pieces, and they were 40% off. So I went ahead and got two of them because I liked them. And then I went back through the paper and I found another 6x6 pad that I really liked. Um, and uh, when I was talking to Libby, we were talking about the Catherine paper that I had gotten. It was a six by six and, it, and discussing how really, really pretty the Catherine paper is. And this one's called Bright Vintage. And I know it's more springy, but this is absolutely beautiful. It has a linen texture on it. It's got like postage cancellation. And it, some of them have... Like I said, it's got the texture on it. It's got, uh, there, there's three of each. And script. It's more postage cancellation. But, um, chips here. Look how pretty. Look how pretty this is. Look at the, look at all the detail in there. Look at this little bee right there. And of course, you know, I like, I like small things. <laughs> and there, that's just like a print. But, um. It's, it'd be so much easier to do it from the back. So I'll just start like that and do that. Um, yeah, that's... Look at that. And there's script behind it. You comfy trip? He's got himself all propped up on my stack of stuff over there. And look at, look at that. Script and postage. <laughs> Buzzards. What does that say? Buzzards Bay... Massachusetts. <laughs> and it's got some don't say. This is just a really pretty one. That's pretty. Just the stripes. That one. Let's see the birds. And the small postage cancellations and the script. That's got script behind it in the shadow of other flowers, not just the little I don't know. I was gonna say shamrocks because they were green. I think they're like uh Violet looking thing. See? That's fruit. The faint polka dot pattern with the script in behind. I mean, it. I, I could just go on and on about it. They all have a little script. Look at the butterflies. Some people don't like butterflies, but that's so pretty. Look at there. And this thing in the back, it's like a collage of things in the back. Uh, tags and butterflies. Just really, 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 really pretty. I love irises. Look at that. Oh. Okay. Got the fruit, apples, and lemons. And it still has like, look, it's like a postage behind, like a postcard behind in there. So this is, if you like stuff like, I like script and small things, uh, you might want to give that a look. And then the last thing I bought, I was going to order it, and then I could... <laughs> It's like everybody wanted $10.99 for this. Well, Hobby Lobby wanted $8.49. So I went ahead and got these. After, I said, well, I don't need those. You know, I've, I bought stamp stuff before. But after I saw Crafty by Tony doing something with these stamps, and I, and she was going through them, and I'd seen where she'd used them a lot. So, you know, she doesn't film everything. But I thought orange would be so pretty for the fall and for... Uh, Halloween and the red for Christmas and, and Valentine's and there's even some pink ones So I got to think and I said yeah, okay, maybe I do need them There's this dark green would be good for something Christmas Just anyway, so that's what I got. All right, and there's Tripp's butt Tripp's butt and he's not even moving Pat the butt pat the bat All right, um, I did go to 
I stopped at Dollar Tree. And I found these. These are ornaments. But I thought, well, those are so cute. Maybe you can use them on the front of... I started some books. I don't like them. But, you know, like these. And uh, maybe put them on the front of a book. If I can find something that has gingerbread on it. Which I'm sure I can. And then... I bought this ornament, and that will fit on the cover of uh, of one of my notepad covers or something like that. And then I bought some more of these to make some more out of the Christmas paper. Um, those holders that I made, like I made in the fall. All right. Oh, yeah. I even bought another one of these, which I did not need. Okay. All right. There it is. That's my haul. Not, not the cat. Cat not included in haul. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I will talk to you later. Get out and vote. Bye.